Welcome again, Cancer. It's May 2016. Didici here from astrology.com.au. You know, if you're constantly focusing on what you don't have or what you're losing, uh, you do run the risk of easily overlooking what you have. And right now, the three planets transiting through your 11th house, Venus, the Sun, and Mercury, seem to be indicating that you may be overlooking this fact. The reason for that is probably because of the very hard aspect of <clears throat> Mars and Saturn in your sixth house, which I think has weighed you down for some time. We see also as the month commences, your ruler, the moon, is in the eighth house. And that makes it difficult for you to, you know, get a bit of perspective on, you know, what's that old saying, if the cup is half full or half empty. You need to take a look at what you have now and really springboard uh, from that position of appreciation and gratitude, really, um, especially with the new moon taking place in this 11th house. That could give you the renewed perspective that we're talking about by, you know, engaging your friends, meeting new people, expanding your circle of uh, influence in that area rather than being weighed down by these problems that we see, for example, in your workplace or with those people or friends whom you may have considered have become enemies or at least rather distant at this time. Uh, there's no point hanging on to things that have outworn uh, their usefulness, especially karmically, because if you do try to hold on to things, then basically you're not allowing enough space around you to bring in the new stuff. And I think that is the, well, one of the key issues for you throughout this uh, current period. <clears throat> we see also some misunderstandings, even with those you generally get on well with as a result of the retrogression of Mercury. Now, that planet will actually move forward around the 22nd on the same day that the, that, uh, the moon is full. And I'm referring a lot to the moon here um, uh, in my month-by-month -month readings. But for you, particularly Cancer, the moon is especially important uh, being your ruler. Health issues may still be bothering you, but the full moon there on the 22nd, I feel, is very, very uh, significant in that it can open up your attention and, and your awareness and connect you emotionally to what it may be that's causing some of these uh, problems. Uh, we know, and you know as well, that uh, being ruled by the moon uh, and being under the star sign of cancer, you tend to bottle up your feelings sometimes and they can actually uh, explode after a certain amount of time. Now that approach is what's, you know, devitalizing you and maybe causing long-term issues. So the way to expand yourself really is to let off that steam, that emotional steam, a little bit at a time, rather than letting it build up to unmanageable proportions. By doing that, I think you'll find that your health will be much benefited by, um, you know, expressing exactly how you feel, even if it's not particularly nice. We see the lovely triangular aspect between Jupiter in your third house, Pluto in your seventh house, and these three planets, more or less, in your 11th house of friendship. So communication is really the key. And uh, especially this month, with the new moon uh, taking place in that area, it's a great way to direct your attention from those sort of problems that have been weighing you down and captivating your attention when, in fact, you should be uh, disregarding that and dealing with those problems when and if you can. There are some uh, important uh, transits as well that we see taking place um, around the uh, 21st actually, that's just before the uh, transit of uh, that full moon in your 6th house and that is the transit of the sun to your 12th house. So this is what I call downtime period and that will uh, probably keep you fairly withdrawn, I would say, for the following month, just as the sun moves into that uh, low-key 12th house. It's also a time of self-reflection 
and that may be triggered by uh, some of these disillusioning relationships you're having at the moment in your social sphere and also perhaps in your um, work environment. There can be some additional responsibilities for those of you born under cancer and unfortunately if your feelings if you need time out uh, your work and co-workers perhaps will be actually pulling you the other way. That is where as I said earlier you may find yourself uh, feeling the tension and the anxiety and pressure affecting you uh, physically. So you need to step up your communication before that happens. Just ask people where they're at at the moment. Do they expect anything extra of you later in the month? And if you can do that, I think you'll find yourself in a better position, better equipped to uh, plan you know, the coming month after that. Mercury moves into its forward direction, as I said, on the 22nd. So any sort of communication, uh, contracts, uh, because that also rules your third house, which is Virgo. Um, any sort of uh, business communications, all of that will function much better for you uh, during the phase of Mercury moving in its forward motion. Saturn, which is the ruler of your uh, intimate relationships, and Mars, which is the ruler of your love affairs and uh, romance, being conjunct in that sixth house, means that some of the health issues I mentioned may be reflected in your partner. So this could be a month of service and helping out and really uh, doing something which uh, pulls you away from what you want for yourself, but which is actually, uh, I guess, a spiritual action uh, activity for the ones you love. Self-sacrifice, I guess, is the key word towards the end of the month. I'm looking forward to your company here again next month. Don't forget, take a closer look at what's happening to you at astrology.com.au. Personal readings available by uh, many of my associates and myself as well, if uh, you'd like to avail yourself of that. Check out the email address at the end of this video, and you're more than welcome to contact me. I'd love to hear from you. Take care till next month. Bye-bye.